morning guys and welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty fashion and lifestyle so if you're interested in any of those things please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video <music> going to be a bit different it's going to be a vlog style i do have a couple of errands to run today so i thought i would just bring you along with me and then we'll just do a day in the life so i'm already dressed i just threw on this t-shirt and some jeans because i want it to be really comfortable and i don't like to be cold when i'm walking around in stores that's why i wanted to go with jeans and i don't know why i chose black because it is extremely hot outside but i don't know black is just so easy to wear so i'll show you the full outfit a little bit later i did a little bit of makeup i threw on my little short wig i love this wig and now all i need to do is grab some jewelry a handbag and a fragrance and for fragrance i think i'm going to go with my ysl libre so we're gonna put this on you know the routine we overdose on this so i have on my fragrance then I'm going to put on my wedding set. And this is where I keep my wedding rings because I don't wear them while I'm in the house. Like as soon as I come home from wherever, I take my rings off and I put them in that tray. So I have on my rings. I need some earrings. I think I want to go with something just cute and small. So I'm going to do my silver hoop. So we're gonna go with these really tiny silver hoops. Just I'm just keeping it real simple. I'm not trying to do too much. And then for bracelets, I probably put on my black and silver Amazon watch and Amazon bracelet. Let's see. Let's see how. This look, I like it because it has the black face. So let's just see how. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this watch. And our Amazon love bracelet. So we're gonna go with these. And for handbag, because I'll be walking around a few stores doing some shopping, I do want to be hands-free. also want to have enough space in my handbag to carry a few items. So, so I'm trying to decide between my YSL bag. I'm trying to decide between my YSL shoulder bag or this Amazon bag that also has a shoulder strap to it. I think I'm going to lean more towards the Amazon bag. For one, it has the top handle. So if I wanted to carry it top handle, I can do that. I can't do that with the YSL bag. I can only carry this on the shoulder or crossbody. So I think I'm going to go with this one because I can do it crossbody or I can do it handheld. And it's a little bit smaller, but it still carries a lot. So we're going to go with this one and I need to find the strap to it. Okay, so... I have the strap, so I'm just going to attach these. And now we can go ahead and stuff our items in it. So obviously, let me try to bring you guys over here so you can see. Where can I put you? So we're going to go ahead and stuff this bag. Obviously, I'm going to need my card holder because it has all of my cards in it. And I'm going to put this in there. I don't think I'm going to take any pouches because it's a smaller bag. So I'm going to just take the things out of the pouch and put it in. So we're going to take our hand cream, hand sanitizer, Floss because I just have to take that everywhere. Some gum. Cotton 
compact mirror, our keys. I like to take a chapstick just in case. So we're gonna take a chapstick. And I believe that's all that I need. Oh, I have some cash. So I'm gonna carry that too. I'm gonna put it in this back zipper pocket. So let's take some cash. So I have that. I could take a travel size perfume, but I think I'm okay because I did put on quite a bit of the YSL. So I don't think I need to carry any additional perfume. And then I'm gonna take my lip combo that I'm wearing today, which is the Fenty Hot Chocolate in the Gloss Balm. And I believe this is NYX Lip Liner in Coffee. So we're gonna take that. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Am I forgetting anything, guys? I think that's all that I need. So we have our handbag packed. Let me show you the outfit of the day. So, like I said, I want it to be comfortable and warm. So I'm wearing this Tupac t-shirt from Target. And I cuffed the sleeves and I did a little front tuck. Again, I don't know why I'm obsessed with this area being out. But she's out. We're going to be in trouble. If I ever get that flat six pack, hey, we're going to be in trouble. That's the top situation. Pants are from The Gap and they're like this faded out black gray combination. I think this is a great alternative to wearing black in the summertime. It has a little bit more of that gray peeking out. So I like to wear these in the summertime. They are straight leg ankle length and they have a raw hem. And then the shoes are my dad's sandals from Target. So I'm finally giving my other dad's sandals from Walmart a break and we are wearing these. I'm not doing a belt. I just like the way that this looks. Um, you saw the jewelry. We're doing these little tiny hoops. Amazon watch, Amazon bracelet. I don't think I'm putting on a necklace today because my top is pretty close to the neck area. So I don't think I need to wear a necklace. And yeah. Oh, what's the one thing that we're forgetting? The outfit is not complete without sunglasses. So let's come and get a pair of sunglasses. And, and I already know I want to wear these. So these are the two newest ones. So I have them in this silver with the clear lens. And then I have them in the gold frame with like the brown lens. I love the way these two look. And especially when I'm wearing this short wig, they look so good. I need to clean them because they're dirty. So let's get a cleaning cloth that I'll take with me. I'll throw this in the bag. These little things are so hard to keep up with. Like, I know I have some that are open already, but I have no idea where they are. So let's get this open. This is the little cloth, so I'm clean my lenses. I like these with the clear lens because when I'm wearing them while talking to people, they can still see my eyes. So I love that. I love that. So this is how they look. I love these. So these are one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses. So I think we are pretty good to go i'm gonna go take my medicine say goodbye to hubby and then we're gonna head out oh i did my nails yesterday press ons i love these once i found these and i mastered them like i don't think i'm ever going back to the nail salon i mean obviously i'll go back if i need like a really good maintenance like for them to do my cuticles and do all that stuff but just on a day-to-day -day, these press ons are doing it they are doing it. They are very secure. Um, they look so good. I don't know if you can see them. Like, look at the cuticles. They look so good. They look so natural. I ordered these particular ones from Amazon. And I just love them. Like, why am I spending my money to get my nails done when these press-ons look just as good and especially for me because i keep my nails simple like i can do a french every single day and i'm cool with that like i don't need all the color 
or the designs. I don't need any of that. So if I'm keeping my nails simple, why not just do this? I love it. So no, I have uh, no desire to go and sit in the nail salon to get my nails done when I can do them at home. But again, if I'm like doing something special or maybe going on vacation, I'll go and, you know, have them done. Or if I need like a really good maintenance, I'll go and have that done. But on a regular basis, no, I'll be doing press on nails. Please press on nails me, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up. Okay, guys, we have made it to the car. I was forgetting two things, so I needed to get some extra batteries for the camera, and then I needed to get my AirPods because I just like wearing my AirPods when I'm in the store and listening to music. So I picked those up. They were in the family room on the charger. So I picked those up and now we are in the car and it is hot out here. It is hot. I'm almost rethinking my outfit. Like maybe I should have put on a bikini or something. I just burning up. But we'll be fine. We'll be in the AC. So we will be fine. I hope you can hear me because I had to crank up the AC so I can cool off. We have um, the guy here working on our garage door. Yesterday morning when G and I were in the garage, we just heard this really loud bang. And we so we're looking around trying to figure out what it was. And he was like, oh my God, the spring on the garage door broke. So now the door won't open up automatically. So we had to call a guy out to fix that. And he's here fixing it now. And I, and I feel bad for him because he's burning up outside and in the garage so hopefully it won't take him too long to get that fixed and we will be good to go so yeah i am in the car we are first going to starbucks to get us a ice drink i probably get an iced chai tea and then I need to get some gas because like I said, we're going to Virginia over the bridge. So I want to make sure my tank is nice and full. I don't want any, any issues with that. So. so I had to switch to my phone because the camera was too hot on the dashboard. I don't see how vloggers do this. Like this is such a headache for me. Like, oh my goodness. But anyway, I'm going to power through this because I put it on my mind to do a vlog, so I'm going to do it. <sighs> I'm just going to have to take all that comes with it, but we're going to get through this. So what I, I don't even know what I was saying. I'm trying to catch this light, so hold on, don't fall. what I was saying prior to the camera dying but I'm going to Starbucks I like to pre-order it on the app so that it's ready when I get there but I didn't do that today so we're just gonna go in I mean I'm just gonna park and then I'll order it on the app and then I'll go in again that's what we're gonna do I mean I'm not in any rush today so we just hang out So let me order this on the app.
dress, lady. Yo, this lady just pulled up in this banging Mercedes AMG. I don't even know what model it is, but it's nice. Let's see if she'll be nice. Okay guys, so I picked up my chai tea from Starbucks, then I went to get some gas, and while I was at the gas station, this fire Mercedes GT AMG, I think that's what the model was, pulled up, gorgeous. So I was definitely expecting a man to pop out of the car, me judging a book by its cover, I know, crazy. But let me tell you, when this beautiful black queen stepped out of that car, like I could not contain myself. I had to go over and say something to her because that car was so gorgeous. So, you know, I walked over, I complimented her on the car. I was like, you know, I love your car, it's gorgeous. I have to say, I did not expect to see a beautiful black queen step out of it. And she was smiling. She was like, thank you from one queen to another. Thank you so much or whatever. And then I just couldn't hold, I just couldn't contain myself. I was like, can, you know, do you mind if I see inside of it? So she was like, no, absolutely, sure. So I opened the door and the entire interior was like this beautiful, vibrant red. Like it was so gorgeous. I'll try to see if I can find a picture of the car and post it up somewhere in this video, but it was just beautiful beautiful car she looked good in it and I just had to say something so I mean sometimes we just have to do that like we have to compliment one another so you just don't know how that may make someone's day so I don't know I just want to share that um finally we are on our way to the mall we're all gassed up and finally about to head out I don't know. I think my camera is going to shut off again because it just went dark. So I don't know how this is going to work. So, so quite frankly, I'm not going to do too much talking anyway because I like to listen to music when I drive. So I'm just going to say a couple more things and then we're going to wrap this up and I'm just going to listen to my music. So I'm going to run out to the mall really quickly. I want to go inside Nordstrom just to see what they have available in store for the anniversary sale. Did place an order online for a couple of the beauty items that I didn't want to sell out. Because a lot of other things that I was looking at that I had in my wish list are sold out online, but it may be available in store. So I'm gonna go and check that out. And then I also need to stop by Sephora to pick up some skincare products because y'all, let me tell you, my skin is going through it right now and the one thing that I think is causing it is I stopped taking those flow vitamins that I was taking I mentioned before that I had been taking those for over a year and it really cleared my skin up and because I have hormonal acne those are really good for that and I wasn't having as many breakouts and it was clearing up the dark spots that I had already you know had previously but those vitamins are pricey they are pretty pricey and I had it on auto refill. So it was, you know, just every month they would send it to me and just automatically debit it out of my account. But I was like, there has to be an alternative that's cheaper for these because $30 a month adds up. But let me tell you, sometimes cheaper is not always better because I did find like that main ingredient that's in those flow vitamins, which is chastberry. You find those as a supplement pill in Target much much cheaper but let me tell you they do not work and it could be that I wasn't taking them properly because you have to take them once twice a day and I always forget to take it that second time of day so I'm like why can't I just take them both at the same time but I didn't want to chance that because obviously it's prescribed to take it that way for a reason so I didn't want to chance it but I just feel like they weren't doing me any justice so I need to go back to those flow vitamins because I need to clear my face up because I have not been having to wear makeup just to cover up dark spots for a long time and I don't like that 
I don't like that at all. I like to go bare faced without any, you know, blemishes or anything like that. So I need to get back to that. So I am going to restart those flow vitamins because I love the way that my skin looked when I was taking those regularly. So I'm going to pick that up and then I also that I need to get from Target. So I'm going to pick that up and then some other body care products from Target. So that is the plan. We're going to Nordstrom's, Sephora, and Target. But again, like I said earlier, I always make all these plans that I'm going to do this and do that. And then after the first thing, I'm like, I'm done. But I'm really, really going to try my best to do all of these three stops today because I need everything that I have on the list from those stores. So that is what the plan is for today. Also, I want to share with you what we did yesterday. Today, G and I went to a moonshine tasting. He had done this before and he liked it. So he wanted to, um, I guess, share the experience with me. So we went to this really cute restaurant in Southern Maryland, but a really cute restaurant. And they offer moonshine flights. And you get to choose, I don't know, they probably have maybe, let's say 20 different flavors of moonshine. And then you can check, you can select up to six to sample in a flight. So I sent, so he sampled six and I sampled six. Well, actually he sampled 12 because the first time they messed up his order. So they let him keep that order and then they gave him his original order that he placed. So he sampled 12 and then I sampled six and they're like really tiny little cups. So, it, you know I mean, it's not even a shot actually. It's smaller than a shot. But, um, so I sampled six of them. I think some of the flavors that I sampled was salted caramel, blueberry lemonade, pineapple, peach, um, Southern Comfort or Southern Sunshine or something like that. And one other one, I didn't care for any of them like I moonshine I have never had before in my life I am from South Carolina so I know that that is something that you know southerners make I have never tried it in my life this is the first time I didn't like it there were three that I thought were like okay like the salted caramel the blueberry lemonade and I think the peach I rated it an 8 out of 10 that is not something that I would drink more than a shot of. Like, I'll take a shot, but that's it. So those were the little flights that we had, and then they um, also sell foods. And we both thought the food was really good, so we enjoyed the food a lot. And then I also ordered a creamsicle slushy, which was one of their daily specials, and it was really good too. Really cute place. I would definitely go again. And as we were leaving, uh, that a band was setting up, pretty sure it wouldn't have been the music that you know we listen to but I think it would have been a good time so maybe we'll go back again and go a little later in the day so that we can you know also enjoy the band also guys after we asked our waitress for the check she said that our bill was already taken care of that one of the other patrons had paid our full bill and we was like what and then she was like they said that you guys seem to have good energy and they just wanted to you know take care of your bill and we was just like wow Wow, it was very touching. So those are things that we do regularly, you know, pay it forward, do something nice, a nice gesture for someone else. And when it's reciprocated and done for you, it just feels so special. And it just makes me think that the people that we do it for felt the exact same way that we felt in a moment when we realized someone did it for us. So we just thought that it was really, really cool. We still, um, of course, tipped our waitress because she was so good and so sweet so we still tipped her but we just thought that that was so cool we don't know who the couple was who took care of the bill g said he has an idea of who it may have been because he just felt like every time he would um have eye contact with the person that you know they would smile at him so i don't know he said he may have an idea i have no idea at all but whoever it was thank you so much god bless you and may this come back to you tenfold we really appreciate it so it's just again just be kind you know what i'm saying just show love and be kind this world will definitely be a better place it really doesn't take a lot it doesn't take much to just be kind 
say a few kind words to someone, smile at someone. You just don't know how that could change a person's mood, how that could make a person's day. So I just wanted to share that. We thought that that was really cool. That really made our day, made us feel good. And we enjoyed it. So that was yesterday. Again, I should have vlogged that, but I'm still trying to figure this out. So I didn't. I did take a couple of pictures and video that I'll try to insert here in this vlog if it makes it to the channel. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put you down so this camera can cool off and I can preserve my battery. And I'm going to just rock out to the music because that's what I like to do. I like to drive and listen to my music. So I'll catch you guys when I get to the mall.
Fenty lipsticks or lip liners on display. So I did pick up a couple of skincare items. Now I'm on my way to the restaurant. are done with the mall when I first got here I was a little irritated and over it already but once I got inside and started walking around I started to feel better and I was able to find some of the things that I was looking for I didn't do too much damage which is good so I went into Sephora they didn't have the Fenty lip liner and lip gloss or lipstick that I was looking for on display yet I wasn't able to test those out but I did find the two skincare products that I wanted to pick up then I went into Nordstrom and yo, they didn't have any of the things that I was looking for on my wish list. Like people have been taking great advantage of this sale as they should be. So a lot of the items that I was looking for, like the loungewear sets weren't available. They had it in the short set, but I didn't want that. And I didn't really like too much how it looked. And then they only had a few limited sizes too. So if you're looking for the open edit three piece short set, you need to run to the store and get them because the sizes are very limited. But I did pick up a couple of other things and one item in particular that wasn't on my wish list, but it was cute and on sale. So I picked it up. And then just had to scan my ticket so I can get out yeah and so with one of the items that I picked up I gave me a free gift which was really cool I wasn't expecting that so I'm excited to open that up and see what's inside of it so now we're headed to Target I don't know if I want to go to the Target out here or if I want to go to the one at home because when I was coming in this target was packed. like the parking lot was jam-packed so I may just go to the target on my end because there I know where everything is so I'm not like fumbling around the store trying to find what it is that I'm looking for so I may just wait until I get back on my side of town and go to that target but other than that, my errands are done. I went to all of the places that I set out to go to, so I'm so proud of myself. Oh, and when I was in Nordstrom, I received a compliment. So like how I was saying about paying compliments to people, it makes them feel good. It really made me feel good for the young lady to come over and be like, she was like, oh, I love your hair. I love the sunglasses. You look like money. So I thought that was really cute. And she was beautiful too. So of course, I said the same to her. And you know, I talked about her makeup and everything. She was just a gorgeous gorgeous young lady so that was a nice experience and now I am headed out so far I'm still in a good mood ready to go to Target and get what I need to get from there and that is it we are back in the house i did go to all the stores that i said i wanted to go to today so i'm so proud of myself for actually sticking to the plan today 
I didn't do a lot of damage, like I said earlier. So I'm going to show you what I picked up from the stores today. Starting with Sephora, I just have this little bag here and I only picked up two items. So I picked up the Skin Fix Cleanser. It's a 2% BHA cleanser and it is for acne prone skin. So I'm hoping that this will help with the breakouts that I've been having lately. And it comes in this little squeeze bottle like this. It is five fluid ounces. I'm going to start using this until my face clears up and then I'll go back to using my Youth to the People cleanser that I love. So I'm going to use this. I hope that it works. I've seen a lot of people recommending that so I'm going to give it a try. And I had this Ola Henderson dark spot toner. I've also heard some great things about this. Like I said, I do have a few dark spots from the breakouts and I want to get those cleared up so that I can go back to not having to wear foundation and it comes in a bottle like this and it is how many ounces this is 6.5 fluid ounces so hopefully this will work and not take forever to clear up my dark spots so that is all that I picked up from Sephora let's see what I picked up from Nordstrom and then here is my Nordstrom bag because, again, I told you I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a gift that was given to me by Clinique because I did buy a Clinique product. So she gave me this little pouch and inside of it, it came with this rinse off foaming cleanser by Clinique and it says all about clean is for a dry combination to oily skin so um, I'm not going to use this right now because I'm going to use that other product to try to clear my face up but I'll have this on standby maybe I'll use it when I travel so that's a cleanser and then inside of the pouch is this Clinique all about eyes reducing circles and puffiness and this is an eye cream so I'm excited to try this and the last thing in here is, I believe, a lip gloss. So, I'm very excited to receive those gifts. I wasn't expecting to receive a gift, but that's cool. The next thing that I picked up from Nordstrom is this Clinique gift set. And it comes with two moisturizers. So, it's the Moisture Surge Broad Spectrum SPF 28 Sheer Hydrator. Then the Moisture Surge Auto Replenishing Hydrator Moisturizer. So, these are the two items that's in this box. Let's see if I can open it without breaking a nail. Okay, and then, oh good, I didn't know what size this was going to be, but it looked like it's the full size container, so that is great. I'm excited to try this, and then here is the SPF. I've never used this. This will be my first time, so excited to get these two products, and then I just picked up this one blouse by, who is this by? Open Edit. I don't know. They just feel like... I just feel like they have been all over the anniversary sale this year open edit i don't recall seeing this brand advertised so much in the last year's sale but anyway this is the top that i picked up it's an animal print top i think this is snake skin and it's just so pretty it is sheer so i'll definitely wear a cami under this when i wear it to work but when i'm wearing it like date night or whatever i wouldn't wear a cami underneath it but it's so so cute you know my obsession with animal print and i just love this color it's so light and airy so i love this top last stop was target and i just have one bag i didn't do a lot of browsing around target because i know i'll just be picking up things so I just went in to pick up the things that I absolutely needed. I picked up another white tank top because I washed my last one and for some reason it had bleach stains all over it. I don't know how that happened. It was the only piece that was in the laundry that had bleach stains. So I threw that one away and I bought another one because I really do love these tanks. So I repurchased that. Then I picked up these Flow PMS vitamins that I was telling you about that I had been taking, but then I stopped because I was trying to be cheap. Now I'm back to doing this, and now I have to do all these other things to get my face back on track. So, again, cheaper is not always better, guys. If something is working for you, just stick with it. 
just stick with this so i am back to taking these and i'll probably reactivate my auto refill just so i know that it's coming in and i don't have to worry about it so i have these and i'm going to start taking them tomorrow morning then i picked up this vaseline cocoa shimmer jelly stick and i saw someone use this on instagram and it's just like a glow stick to you know add a little glow to your body so i'm gonna try this out i don't know just see what it's about and lastly i picked up this nyx professional makeup blurring primer and it has spf 30. anything with spf i'm grabbing it so this is a blurring primer so i'm excited to see how this is going to blur like my large pores and it has spf in it so anything with spf i am getting it you can never have enough protection on your skin so those are the items that i picked up from my run today but i think that is going to be the end of this vlog thank you so much for hanging out with me for just a brief part of my day i know this vlog is probably going to be chaotic and i hope it actually makes it to the channel but thank you for pressing along with me and hopefully i will get this together at some point and we'll be able to shoot some really nice vlogs for you guys so, so i'm going to end the vlog here before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye